Hello everybody, my name is Ujelly, and today let's play uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle! Um, not in there, we want to go to the story. Um, we're gonna do the dark story and I'm sorry that we're going to miss a cutscene again. Why don't you just show the cutscene again instead of having Rouge explain who she is over again? I'm not going to even listen to what she has to say. Desert area. Oh, wait! Wait. No, you're not showing a cutscene, I guess. Just skip that one Tails one for no reason. Those idiots will never find my hidden base inside this pyramid. <laughs> Let's take care of business here first. Then get inside. Alright! And now we're playing as Eggman! Woo. Oh, we got a bat! Now the bat is probably, uh, like, I am a... a upset and I really like this one at the same time because of a couple things. One, the bat makes it so your chow doesn't have feet and floats. And to me that's cool, but I also want my chows to look like bats. There should be something over there, but we can't get it. <sighs> when are we gonna have the floaty shoes, game? When are we gonna have the floaty shoes? I thought it was this level where we got the floaty shoes, but I'm pretty sure over there is like, um, is something else completely like I believe it's the armor maybe I don't know um so yeah like I totally thought that that's where we got the floaty shoes but no no I don't know when we get the floaty shoes I don't know why I'm calling them shoes it's not shoes they're jets robots don't wear shoes it's a it's a not very common known fact but robots do not wear shoes they do not wear shoes at all <gasps> raccoon Given that to Mario when we get it back in there. I dropped all my coins because the robot shot me in the face. Um, I didn't know there was raccoons in this stage. Let's grab that even though it's flying type. Um, I'm trying to make sure we give Steve mostly his running stuff. Ow! What just hit me? A pillar? A pillar fell on my face? Game, you could have given me some warning, man. I, I wish I had known that a pillar was about to fall on my face. That would have been nice to know. You know, nice to know pillars about to fall on my face. Alright, let's get over there and get that chow block. Let's go out for the spinny balls, they will kill you. With this without any discretion. Spinny balls ah spinny balls killed me. There's a robot up there pooping bombs. Um stop pooping bombs at me! I don't know why I said that. He was done. He was dead. Well, gone. Let's give him a swimming type thing. I need to get more running type things, but there aren't any running type upgrades here. Hey, man. You need to find more of the running stuff. Let's jump on this platform. Oh, yeah. There's evil sand that will kill you down there. It's a one-hit kill thing. You can't jump out of it. Like, Tails, every time he dies in this in the, these desert er areas, because... Get used to this desert, you're going to be seeing it a lot. Um, so if you liked Egypt in history, you'll love this game. Uh, peacock! Uh, there's bats everywhere, but no, there are more peacocks. I don't want bats, I want raccoons. Stay away from me- no! Bad. Bad evil animals. Bad. Bad little woodland creatures. Bad. You're just bad. And no running type things. Where are all the running types? D I died. No! <laughs> I thought I could make that jump, but apparently not. Apparently Eggman's got no jump. Alright. And now all my rings are gone. Oh my god, and we're all the way back here. Ugh. And that platform disagrees with me. It's just like, nope, I'm not gonna let you move forward quickly and efficiently. Nope. You! No, 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 no. Stay here. Stay here. I'm getting tired of your shenanigans. Stay away from me, peacock. Wait, no, no, no. Let's destroy this first so we don't have the same problem. Oh my god, explosion. The box didn't have anything in it. I feel so empty inside. Are you a running- Yes! Finally! Running type! Give me that. Need that. I don't care if we get rid of the raccoon, just give me the running type thing. 
Running type? No, swimming type. I don't need swimming type. I need running. There's a running. We're probably not going to be able to get it because it's floating over the abyss. Yep. It is now in the lava where I can't get it. Well, not the lava, the sand. Basically, same thing. It kills you. Except one kills you by suffocation and drowning in money in finely ground rocks, and the other one boils your insides and outsides and your everything. Um, I don't know why we'd want to get up there. It feels like I'm going in circles, but I'm not. It's just a very repetitive stage. That's it. Give me your things. No, you, you don't have a running type. There we go, running type. Thank you. Dear God, I, w I was like, okay, we're going to do an Eggman stage. I'm going to get stuff for Mario since Steve is going to be asleep. Um, but no. Oh, yeah. If you want to do, s like, if you know there's an animal in a certain stage that's really easy to get, but you uh, want to go into um, your chow garden with another person, if they're in the same story, I believe, you can, um, uh, it, the game, it'll transfer over. Like, if you play as Eggman and then you go into the garden as Rouge, uh, Rouge will have all the stuff Eggman had, so don't worry about that. Alright. Running? Yes! Alright, awesome! Okay. Let's keep moving. I don't like building stairs. The only the way to Mario can build stairs, but Mario's now a chow, so... Uh, come on! I couldn't make that jump, and we're all the way back here. Uh, I might just cut it here. So if there's a sudden cut, you know why. Oh man. Uh, I don't even know what to talk about, I just took a really long pause. Running! Give me that. Give me that. Give me that, that, that. Give me that, 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 and those. Those and those. Give me that, that. I don't even know the words to that dubstep. Um. Okay. Dubstep is hard to sing to. Mostly because usually there aren't too many lyrics. I've got a friend who really likes Dead Mouse, and I've been meaning to, like, listen to more Dead Mouse. Like, she, um, she's in my animation class, so whenever we're working on a project and we're just sitting there drawing, she always plays Dead Mouse, which is kind of nice. We've got one friend, though, who doesn't like dubstep, so <laughs> every day is torture for him. He's just like, <laughs> I hate dubstep. <laughs> really, I find dubstep okay. Like, there's certain dub... Why is that pillar so far away? I don't have the floaty thing, game. I don't have the floaty thing. <laughs> And probably some of you are just going, Emily, why are you failing so hard? And I'm just like, because usually I play this stage. Well, it, do you know how long it's been since I've completed the story mode of this game? If I want to play this game and I want to do the levels, I just do them in order with the power-ups. You know why? Because I already have the power-ups. I don't need to replay the story mode of this game. Because, really, I don't care. Um, <laughs> And also, if you replay the story mode, uh, if you do replay the story mode and it's on the same file, you already have all the power-ups. You know why? Because the game is smart like that. So it's not like I restart this game all the time and just be like, oh, hey, I'm going to do this without the power-ups. No, I always have the power-ups when I play this game. I am not used to not having the power-ups. Um, so that's why I'm failing so hard. There's my exclamation. I'm not compensating for anything, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, I gotta stop whining. Just Okay, now. Maybe it'll- Yeah, it moves. What was I thinking? Of course it moves. Of course it moves. Why didn't you wait? Why didn't you wait, you impatient person? Usually I just float over there like a boss, but no. Can't have the floaty shoes. We gotta wait forever in order to get the floaty shoes. Which is annoying, because they're probably the best power-up you could have. Really, I think these robots should come built in with floaty shoes. I mean, for crying out loud, Tails, your plane is a... Your, your robot is a jet. Eggman, I can understand. His isn't a jet. Maybe it floats. We saw it floating before. So yeah, it does float. Why are none of you just floating through these stages with your cannons like, Oh, hey, I can just fly over all this. I don't need to do crap. It's not like, oh, you have to break the barricade or anything. No, it's just stupid. <laughs> There's a parrot. Parrots are kind of pretty. 
but also at the same time can be weird. Oh yeah, the reason I remembered why I didn't want to make uh, Mario a penguin is because you get really creepy eyebrows as a penguin. Like I said, some of the animals are just messed up where you're like, oh my god, it's a penguin, it's gonna be so cute. No. No, it's not. Because the game doesn't know how to make things cute. Apparently. Ball! Thank you. They shall now use you as an elevator! Ha ha! Hindsight! You should have saw that coming! Alright. Running! Running, running. And now we've got a ton of running stuff. There was probably something behind that ring. I don't give a crap. <laughs> We're going to the Chow Garden. How long have I been recording? Ten minutes? Awesome. Probably just gonna leave that. I know I got an A rank. Shut up. Um. <laughs> All right. Um. Moving along. Moving along. It's really cold in my basement. I probably should have wore a coat. So yeah, now we have Eggman in the Chow Garden. Yay! Why didn't I? He looks so dorky in here, and he can jump. Jump. <laughs> He's just like. It's so dorky. In the Jap- Okay, my sister and I one time played this game with the Japanese on just to hear what it sounded like. When, um... Oh, he's sleepy. Look how sleepy he is. When, um... When- Oh my god, look how creepy he is. <laughs> he's just such a creeper. <laughs> um, when Eggman came, comes in here and he pets a chow, he goes, Yosh! Which, I forget what that means exactly in Japanese, but I think it means, like, good or something. But, um... Uh... Basically, that's what he says, and it's creepy and funny and hilarious. Oh, yeah. Also, SHAKING BABIES! <laughs> Eggman, you have no idea how to care for children, do you? I'm just gonna give him this stuff, and then we're gonna complete another stage. I don't know if I'm going to come back in here later. We might at the end if I get another chow key, since I believe finally we're gonna be in a stage where Shadow can actually do stuff. I believe that's next. I believe that's what we're doing next. We're finally going to play as Shadow. It takes forever for them to actually get into how Shadow, like, gets staged and stuff. Alright. Alright, Mario, be good! I'm going to shake you again so you get brain damage. Um, and then I'm going to pet your head, since you are now retarded. Um, I'm being really grim and morbid, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's just leave. Bye! <laughs> so dorky! <laughs> Alright. My eyes are itchy! Oh no, I guess we're not. Oh wait, I should With shut up. The Chaos Emerald in the Space Colony Ark. Hmm. I've got to find out just what's going on up there. We interrupt this broadcast for an important news flash. There has been a break-in at the Federal Reserve Bank today. Mysteriously, the only thing that was chaos stolen Emerald? was the Chaos Emerald. According to eyewitnesses at the scene, the suspect was identified as the world-renowned hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. The suspect was seen fleeing the scene, destroying the reserve's guard robots in his path. Stay tuned Sounds for more, more details. Like the work of Shadow. God, the people of this universe are stupid. I mean, they got a close-up of him. They know he's not Sonic. Find them before they escape! Subtitles went away way faster than they should have. Anyway, yeah, now we know a little bit about Shadow's motivation as to what he's doing and why he's doing it. Um, basically, he wants to kill us all. Because we killed his girlfriend. 
or something. Uh, or whoever that girl was. Apparently they're friends or something? I don't know, we'll figure out more later. Like I said before, I actually, in this game, I really like Shadow. I think here he wasn't a horrible character. He wasn't just a, oh my goodness, I'm so emo and brooding. Like here, like, yeah, he has motivation. It's understandable as to why he wants to kill us all for being complete and utter dicks. <laughs> I can't put it any other way. We killed his friend. Where am I? Why is there... Oh, there's a warthog under here. I was like, why is there nothing over here? Anyway, let's just go up here. Whee! Whee! I actually kind of like this stage. Um, out of all the stages, like, for me, like, a lot of the stages blend together. Some of them are really dark. Like, first, like, it seems like all the stages take place in freaking I need the bring shoes in order to get over there. Um, like, they take place either all in Egypt or, like, all in space. And, uh, to me, I get sick of it pretty quickly sometimes. So, like, this stage is one of the stages where I really like to play, and I'm glad they added this. And I believe this is the only stage- wait, no, there's one other stage that takes place in an area that looks similar to this. And I hate that stage. This stage is fun, though. Like, um, this stage with the whole entire crazy highway- like, why would you design your highways like this? I don't understand, but, um, this stage is fun. I like this stage. The other stage modeled after this area, though, I hate so much, mostly because it's a tail stage, and it's one of the most annoying tail stages there is. Is there anything in this box? A seal! Look at that little seal flopping around. Camera angle. Uh, look at that seal flopping around. <laughs> so weird. I should probably show off some other chows. Ah! I completely failed. Let's just break open this box. Maybe there's raccoon. No, seals and cheetahs. So many seals. Oh yeah, knowing which animals are in which stages is also really important for something you can do with the chows. Okay, let's see if I can make this. Yes! After pl not playing this game for so long, I it, it took a really long time to get used to doing that. To get, um, the whole entire flip off of the bar thing again. Because that takes a lot of timing and sometimes the game is really finicky about that. I'm just warning you right now. Oh yeah, I have a funny story about this stage. Okay, you see those planes flying around? Well, one time I fell funny in this stage, and a plane hit me and killed Shadow. <laughs> and I was just like, I am not roadkill. I am air kill. I didn't think that was possible. But it was pretty funny. Alright, what do you have? What do you have? Power. I don't need power. Bar! Flip me! There we go. Okay. Stop moving! No, no, no! Come back! Come back! Come back! Yay! Okay. Now these guys, don't jump at them when they have the force field up. Otherwise, you will die. It's pretty obvious. Oh, no, 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 no! I wanted to see what he had. It looked like a power strip, though. Yeah, it was power. Power strip! That sounds funny. Alright. There was a pipe down there, just to tell you. And usually pipes contain animals if you whistle at them. You probably already knew that from me playing this stage earlier. I forgot to jump at the end. There's a chow box there, but I- what? Well, actually, no. Let's see what's- what's in this stage. I bet it's a unicorn. Yep! Unicorn! Usually, with Sonic stages, it's always a unicorn. Right this way, there's nothing. Yeah, once again, uh, if there's a camera angle directing you a certain way, usually you're gonna want to check the other way, just in case. Because most likely, it's going to contain- why didn't I jump there? Um, it's going to contain a power-up. You just check every time you can see that there might be a possible way of going a different direction. Every time. Because usually there's a power-up. Or at least something hidden. There we go. Okay. One more. Yay! I am not failing it. I thought for sure I was going to fail on those so hard. Oh yeah, over there you might have seen it. I should mention. There's a lot of cameos of the character Knights from... I believe his game's Dreams. Or Knights. <laughs> I forget. Um, so yeah, you'll see a lot of cameos of him, which is pretty cool. I've actually not played any of his games, and I really want to. I hear they're kind of similar to Kirby games. And I like Kirby, so yeah, I should probably play them sometime. Anyway, we're done! Yeah, I gotta stretch. Ah, tired. See, I don't that care. Wasn't so hard. I don't care. I'm Sean Connery, so I don't care. 
That's just what I do. Because I am Sean Connery. <laughs> Don't ask me what that was about. I'm out of it. I, I really am. I'm sorry. Just completely out of it. Mario, you better not be asleep! Better not be asleep! But yeah, now we have all the characters for the Chow Garden. You better not fall asleep. Don't fall asleep, boy. Boy. My boy. <laughs> better not fall asleep. Eat this. It's good for you. Your head needs to be modeled after mine. Oh yeah, if you get a neutral chow and make it running, I believe you can get a uh, sonic chow. But um, the only way to get a shadow chow is to make them dark. I have not really gotten any of the neutral chows. I'm not planning to, mostly because it takes longer. Uh, Steve is up and apparently hungry. Um, yeah, that's about it for this episode. I'm just going to continue to pet Mario here and talk about something. Man, Steve is really working it down. Uh, I would feed him, but I can't touch him. Or I shouldn't touch him, rather. Yay, just petting. Freaking petting uh, Mario here. Yep, just look at him, petting his head. And as you can see, his color ch continues to change. It'll continue to change for a while. And his wings are already pretty much full... Um, devil wings. Oh yeah, with the hero chows, even though we can't see it because Steve now has wings, he, uh, the um, hero chows get angel wings. So, I, I'm pretty sure that um, uh, the swimming chows get kind of weird wings, so I might take away his dragon stuff just for a bit so we can see that more. Alright, that's about it. We should stop here. Mario's probably going to fall asleep right now. Nope, he's gonna yawn. T Hi, Steve! Look at you, just walking around like a boss. Like a boss! Look at him and all his bossness! Oh yeah! Oh my goodness! Okay, Mario can now walk. Now, there are different stages of being good at stuff for Chows. Like, he can wag his tail! <laughs> oh my god, that's adorable! Now, for running Chows, like, they'll start crawling, like Steve is right now, as you can see over there. Um, and then they'll be able to walk, and then they'll be able to do a really derpy haters gonna hate walk, and then they'll be able to run. I believe there's four stages of it. Um, so yeah, um, with swimming, there's uh, different stages of swimming, you know, the whole entire- let's pick up Mario and demonstrate. The whole entire, oh my goodness, I'm drowning thing, and then they can do like a doggy paddle, and then like they can do like a more experienced swim, and eventually they'll get- Steve, you are just so hungry. Don't punch the fruit. It didn't do anything wrong. Um, Cheetah, get out of my shot. Um, so yeah. Uh, seriously, don't punch the fruit. Don't eat. I'll feed you when I come in here as a hero, okay? Just calm down. Calm down, boy. Alright, so yeah. Um, with flying, eventually sometimes you'll come in here and you'll see like a chow spawned up here and they'll just randomly go flying through the air. The first time I saw it scared the crap out of me because I didn't know what it was. And with power, basically, they just become better fighters and you don't really see anything outside of it that shows they're stronger. Um, so yeah. Also, he because he's still new at walking, he's gonna trip a lot. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you like this episode, please subscribe. If you already have, thank you, and I hope all of you have a lovely day. I just showed you the exit screen.